Well, good afternoon. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm fantastic. How is it over there in Nigeria? The weather's good? Very well. Welcome to the show, my in-law. You know you're my in-law. Yes, yes. I have much Nigerian family. I did not realize my family was so huge, but I love it. I always so, say, it's wonderful. Great. You know, if you're married to a Nigerian, you're married to all of us. Yes. I have um, family in Nigeria, and I have family here in the States that are also my family that are Nigerians. Great. Good to have you on the show. Can it's you hear me? Pleasure. Yes, I can hear you clearly. It's my pleasure. You and I had to jump through some twists and turns, but yeah. here we are. All right. Um, I know that we are going to have, um, we are going to avoid a few things that are going to um, um, cause breach of contract, but yes. I'm yes. going to quickly just ask a few questions if you're ready. All right. I'm ready if you are. I'm just actually relaxing today. Today okay, is my great. day of relax. All right. So let's talk about um, yourself and Usman. My husband, Usman. Your husband, Usman. Yeah. Yes. So he is in Kaduna. Pardon? He is in Kaduna, and I am here in the United States. Yeah. I returned okay. almost a year ago. All right. So I have a few questions. He was on the show. And he made some, he said some things. And a few people are very, very, very livid about um, uh, some, of the, some of the things they feel about you. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with my first question. Do you think you're a racist? No. If I was racist, I would not live where I live. I would not have went to school where I went to school at. No, I'm not a racist. Where, where do you live? I live in the heart of the city, which there is many African Americans. I was born and raised with them. I grew up very poorly and it was called the projects. I don't know if you know what that word means, but it's for where you have very low income. And it was a mixture of all races that I grew up with. Okay, what school did you attend? I attended William Penn Senior High. Okay, so they, the comment section is, is blowing up because a lot of people want to um, ask some questions, but I know that we are not gonna be able to ask some questions like you said, um, so we're gonna just stay in line. But you constantly used the N-word on Usman, your husband, a couple of times. Why, why did you do that? We believe I, that I, if you are white, I use the N-word. Let me clarify this and clarify this clearly. It yeah. was in text. I used the GA form. I did not disrespect him by using the ER. What I said with the GA, it was disrespectful. I've apologized to my husband. I've done several public apologies. I posted to my page that I was embarrassed by my own stupidity to put that in text, that word. But with that being stated, they don't want to drop it. There was a person who picked up on that text and they blew it up so they could get followers. They're still doing it to this day. So with that being said, I've done several public apologies, several via your platforms, um, Katung's platforms, Rocco's platforms. I've done this publicly, but they're not going to drop it because they, the people that are obsessing over it are ones that I would call, they are the enemies that are coming because I married Soldier Boy. Because let's face facts, if him and I didn't do a show, nobody would ever know who Soldier Boy was. Okay, so, so, so I'm, I'm gonna hold you there. I'm gonna hold you there. Your husband is one of the most let me put it this way. Your husband is one of the most, um, in a long time, I've not met somebody that's that energetic. I've never met someone that's that, he's intentional, he knows what he wants. He knows where yes. he's going, right? Yes. And your word saying that if you didn't go on the show with him, he wouldn't have been where he, but I'll tell you something, um, I'll, I'll kind of disagree because I feel mm. like the kind of man you married, you need to always look at him every day and see that he's a man that can take you places because He's very energetic. He's a fighter. He wants to get it out there. Now, that means... Right. With that being said... Yeah. But you don't know what 
you do not have you do not even have a clue what Usman did prior to singing. So with that being said, I'm going to remain silent because of my husband, because I would never expose what his job was prior to doing the show. Okay, so job. See, I, I get I get exactly where you're coming from, but from uh, we're going to get in there. But my my next question to you is: Do you love do you, do you love your husband? Do you love Usman? I love your boy. I love him very much. I love Usman Umar very much. I have moved heaven and hell to keep the man safe from what Americans can do, which he's finding out the hard way. That, that some of them are just very vile. Um, I love my husband to the point that I traveled from my country instead of bringing him to the United States. I could have easily did him here with a K-1 visa. But no, I went to his country to meet his family instead of bringing him here to the United States. Do you think Usman married you because he wanted to move to America? Mm. I will say no, because in the beginning, Usman had no desire whatsoever to come to the USA. We've been together three years, okay? If he truly was seeking a green card, he'd probably be here by now, but he's not. Right. It's good that you're actually saying this on, on the show because um, in, this is in your defense, but as Nigerians, right? As Nigerians, we love, we're Africans, right? And you getting married to a Nigerian and an African, that means it makes you an African, right? Like I started the interview, I said, you are, you are our in-law. So you are married to all of us, right? Yes. The only person that has the, um, the legal rights, you understand? Is Usman, but being being Africans, you are married to all of us. Now I'm going to ask you this: Do you ever are you planning to have kids with Usman? By the grace of God, I am not. <clears throat> I am still able to make children. So if it happens, that's fantastic. And this is another thing that maybe you need to educate Americans about, because we've tried, but they're not buying. It goes here and not here. <clears throat> because my husband is of Islamic faith. In Nigeria, he is entitled to four wives. I will be the first wife. And as long as he can provide for my household and what I need, he can take the second wife. If I cannot bear him children, he has no desire to take a second wife. But if it deems that he has to, he will. And you are okay to accommodate the second wife? Yes, because I'm here in the United States. I'm not living in Nigeria. Hmm. So, you know, he never planned to move to the United States on a full-time basis. Never. never. So you're Christian? I am Christian doing the conversion to Islamic with my husband's guidance upon his arrival to the United States. But right now, that's not happening. So why did you call him a scammer? Because... If you go on a show and say the things that he's been saying since early March, that's not good. Hmm. That's why, that's, that's why, um, all right. My, my, thing, my thing to you is, what if you, um, what, if, what if he gets married to a woman that you don't, you, you don't get along with, what are you going to do? If he gets married to another woman you don't get along, what are you going to do? We don't live in the same household, so really it's not going to concern me what goes on in her household, is it? So why if he decides to, for, that you all live in the same house? That will not happen. Usman cannot afford that type of housing, um, to be honest with you. He cannot afford that type of housing. So being the first wife, why don't you think it should be more accommodating to have, allow him, if he brings other wives in, for you to be the first wife that takes care of every? Ah to bring her into the family, that's not a problem. But as it stands right now, being married to Usman, I financially take care of myself. My husband doesn't take care of me. Hmm. Two days ago, you said you wanted him in jail. Why did you do that? Uh, if he goes to prove that he's doing what he's doing on these interviews, he's proving to the world that he scammed me. Now, I pray with that being said, this is not the, this is not the fact. 
because a lot of things are being dropped through the internet that are coming to my ears and my eyes. Okay, so can I ask you a question? If you called um, your husband is Kama two days ago, mm -hmm. and you're on the show today calling him your husband, right? Don't you think that as a Nigerian, as your in-law, don't I feel like you're waiting for Usman to come to America and then you put him in trouble and you'll be in jail for the rest of his life? No, no, no. That's Usman's misconception. And that's only because of the vile Americans that follow him. If I was in Nigeria and I, if there was any truth to what is being exposed on the internet, that he tried to hustle me, you know for a fact it's not, a, it's not legal in Nigeria to pull this game. It, his family would not agree with this at all. Nobody would agree with this. So with all the interviews that he's dropping, I pray he's done this for a publicity stunt, that he has not used me. You respect Usman. I respect my husband. I talked to my husband earlier. Now, my husband's so-called manager wanted to do a live broadcast with uh, my promoter, Rocco. Now, I gave, my I gave my husband the option to go live, one-on-one, -on -one, him and I, on this platform of Instagram. He has refused to do that. It makes me wonder why. Because why did he block you? I why did he block you? Why did he block you on Instagram? Why he blocked me is because there was a situation with a, another blogger who told him, either you block her down and I'll have all my people follow you. You go on your live and you tell everyone you have blocked her. Drop her. Do not speak to her. And he did that. That was an insult to me as being a Nigerian wife. You don't let any, any American try to blackmail him for followers. It's just not... The person has maybe seven, th th seven, eight thousand followers. You just don't do that kind of stuff to your wife. You don't disrespect your wife that way. So, so far, you feel so, like Usman, you feel your husband has disrespected you by the things he has said at different interviews? Yes, very much so. Hmm. And I told him from here on out, any interview that he does, I will re interview. Hmm. Okay, so. Words. Choose your words very carefully is what I told my husband. Choose them very cautiously. So the other day I saw you posting, um, I saw you posting stuff on your Instagram, posting about the boy. There's a guy you were posting on your Instagram. Who was uh, that? Yeah. That is a very good friend of mine. And I took him off because he was starting to get hate mail in his DMs. Um, before Usman, I was in Nigeria via social media for several, several years. And I told him, I said, I'm gonna drop you off because if you're getting this type of hate mail, it's only gonna get worse. And being that he is a Nigerian, people do not fully understand. I don't fully understand the culture of Nigerians, but I didn't want people jumping in his DM with hate because Nigerians are not about hate. That's why I'm shocked at my husband's behavior on doing the interviews that he's doing. Okay, you know, Something you said, right? Mm -hmm. You said if you were going to report Usman to the government, right? And that he tried to hustle you mm -hmm. before you guys got on the show, right? Why would you try to do that when he has already brought you open? He, you're married to him. It's not like he's asking. Does Usman ask you for money? I will remain silent. Hmm. So you're thinking that, so you have a joker, because for, from what you say, I, I, I feel like you have a joker, right? You have a joker in your hand that any day he messes up, and if he's in America, you're going to put him straight in jail because you feel like he was a scammer, or he's a scammer, no, why, and he's, he's trying to I, hustle you. Why would, why would I bring him to America if I believed in my heart he was truly a scammer? I'm sitting back observing my husband's behavior at this time. I'm watching. There's no joker about it. Because if I truly believe in my heart that he is a scammer, I will never apply for a visa ever. So, so right now you don't think he's a scammer? I don't know what my husband's doing. I don't know where his head is, his psychological thinking. But what I'm seeing from these interviews, that's not my husband. So you need to, I, I, it's a yes or no question. So do you mm. think he's a scammer, yes or no? No, it's not a yes or no question. Because he's, he's your husband. So if he's your he's husband, husband, 
it happened because you had called him a scammer. So if Let me tell it's you not a scammer, okay. Nigeria sees it differently. Americans, this happens every day. If a husband is unfaithful to their wife, they're cheating. So as an American, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to observe my husband's behavior because I do love him. But if this type of behavior continues, then I'm going to start questioning the past three years of my life with him. So why did, why did you get married to someone you don't know? Mm, I do know him. That's what I'm saying. Hear me clearly. Mm -hmm. I've known Usman Umar two years solid. The whole time in Nigeria, we did what he wanted for the show. No problem. When I returned to the United States in September of last year, I had health reasons. I was in the hospital for gangrene in my toe. I was in Nigeria, my foot was injured. Okay, my husband's telling a whole different story, which my medical records will be released for this. I had surgery in February. I had to have my toe amputated. So when I returned is when all this drama started, is when this all started. So this is not why I'm in Nigeria, this is not prior to Nigeria. It's, you know, this is something that started after the show, after I returned to the United States. So can I, can I ask you a question? Did you ever try to kill, kill yourself? Do you ever try to commit suicide? No. As I said on my live broadcast before, in 2007, day of delivery, I was to be the happiest woman on earth to deliver a baby girl. My daughter died inside me two hours before the C-section. My mother died the same year. If I wasn't suicidal at that time, I would never think of committing suicide over a man that I love. Never. Never. But Usman, said, but Usman said you tried to commit suicide. Yes. He said I was in the hospital because I tried to poison myself. Now, with that being said, Usman was on the phone video chatting with my doctor because he is Nigerian. Usman was in the hospital when I was set there in October because gangrene was in my foot. So as I tell you, I'm sitting and I'm observing and I'm watching these interviews he's doing with people. All right. Because um, I'm not here to gain followers. I'm not here to gain nothing. I'm here to interview with you, give you as much as I can. I'm not here for popularity, publicity, nothing of the sort. You know, it's nothing to be. Okay, let's flip this the other way, right? Mm -hmm. um, br briefly. What, um, what do you do aside being, outside being our in-law? What else do you do? What do I do as far as uh, my employment? Work, your work, yeah. Oh, okay. You might not understand this because Usman really flubbed this one up on the show. I'm a hospice caregiver, which means I take care of the dying. Here in the United States, they hire people to take care of their families to the day that they die. Yeah. Over there, Usman could not translate that to his mother to what I do. But that's what I am. I am a hospice caregiver. Oh, I know about caregiver. A lot of Nigerians own the, uh, um, uh, uh, care homes in America. Yes, correct. Okay. So, but there's something that is very, very um, thought-provoking. Um, why can't you live in Nigeria? Because Usman doesn't feel I would be comfortable there because of the things that I've been born and raised with here in the United States. A simple thing that Usman always made a joke about is the cellular service, the electricity, the water flow, um, things of that nature. All right, let's talk about George Floyd. Say again? Let's talk about the protests in America. Ah, uh, yes. So the police, the, the cops have been killing the blacks in America. What's your take on that? That cop, I am so furious and I was on Katung's Live about this. That cop was charged with third degree murder, which in America, you know what that means? He's going to get away with the murder of that young man. They will plead it down. He probably will never see jail time ever, ever. Are you angry? Are you, are you, are you pissed about that? I'm real pissed about it. Apparently you didn't watch because it's not a big thing, but because we have so many platforms from doing the show, we created a video to put out there that we hear you, we see you. We will not remain silent. You know, um, there's other ones that I have promoted because George Floyd is more than just a hashtag. That was a son, a father, 
a partner. You know, he's gone because he was murdered. He was brutally so, murdered. So I had his charges were upgraded today. What do you have to say about that? What was that? His charges, um, the cops' charges were upgraded today. What do you have to say about that? What were they upgraded to? Um, I don't have the information, but I know that I saw it on CNN that the charges were upgraded today before I came on the interview. If they've been upgraded to first degree murder, then maybe George Floyd will get justice. Maybe all African Americans will get justice. But until then, the world will still be at an injustice. That cop deserves first degree murder. No ifs, ands, or buts. I watched the video. I cried watching that video because I know how precious life is. My patients, I give them to live their life to the fullest. And I'm there when that patient takes that last breath. So I know George Floyd suffered severely by being choked out. When that man took his last breath, he was in excruciating pain from that. It was no oh. joke. Okay, from the comment section, I heard that they gave him second degree. Um, they charged him for second degree murder. You, are you satisfied? No, no. That will show you how the judicial system runs in America. You know, second degree, no. He deserves first degree murder. We witnessed it. And God bless the woman who recorded it so America can see, so the world can see the injustice that was served on that man. Have you been was, out to protest? Yes. And there's one tonight. We have several. Um, I'll send you pictures from my local area. Are you going to post videos? I will post videos. Um, the last one, I didn't have my battery up to date. But this one, I will record because my daughter will be with me. Because my daughter is terribly upset seeing what she's seen. And she did a video, she did a poster board, and it's pretty graphic. But I told her it's okay because the world needs to know how much that man suffered. And, you know, she's like, I said, take it with you. Do not be ashamed that you feel what that cop what done was pure murder. Wow. So we'd like to see videos from your protests because we need you to show that um, you're, married to, you're married to a very, very black man. Um, soldier boy, energetic, our brother from Nigeria, and um, would like to see, uh, would like to see you go out for that protest, and would like to see the videos, and would like to make sure that you are not just doing it because you want us to believe that um, oh, no, 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 you no, care, no. but I want you to do it because we, you want us to. I, I want you, I want you to see all, the whole world to see that you truly care about us. We do, and if you watch very closely. Um... I posted it to ha several big pages like you, okay? Yeah. It was 50 of us that got together and created a video, including my husband. And it's to show the world, you know, we stand in unity no matter what parts of the world because we're from all over this globe. Because none of us believe that young man deserved what he got. You know, it's horrible to what he has done. And yes, you will get the video clips. I will probably be, if I can drop on live. Um, if not, I'll drop on my daughter's live or Rocco's live. I'll contact Rocco to show you. Um, because I want the world to see this is my part of town. This is where I was born and raised. And what we do in unity against an injustice served. All right. Um, I'll ask you for a favor. I'd like to have you and Usman on live. Are you ready to do that? Yes. You're ready to do that? Yes. Okay, I would like to I'll arrange a live session. Um, that might be transmitted on maybe Facebook or YouTube so that you can get both of you on live. And I'll, yeah. I'd like to have an interface with you guys and also primary live on, 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 uh, on Instagram. Are you ready for that? Oh, definitely. Because we'd like to get to the end of this back and forth with, you're having with a lot of Usman's fans exactly. and the one he's having with your fans. And that's exactly what I asked my husband to do. Go live one-on-one -on -one with me that the world can see either we're going to be together or we're not going to be together. All right, I'll try to make that happen. I'll call him. Yes. I'll try to make that happen. Yes, because um, this is what I ask of my husband, but he doesn't want that. So maybe you can talk to my husband. Let's end this drama that we're seeing on the internet. It's All not right. good for myself or him. All right. Thank you so much, um, Lisa, for coming on the show. 
I, I'm going to arrange that interview between yourself and your, your husband. I would like to um, see you uh, come on live with your husband. And we, let's trash this. As your in-laws, we are, we are not happy that this is going on. Um, we're not happy that this is going on. And we would like to make sure that we, we settle it properly. Let's have fun. You know, let's marry. Uh, Post-COVID-19, we'd like to have a proper party. You know? Yes. And we didn't get to do that because of doing the show when we did. And now we've got the COVID. You know, now I'm up in ambulatory. I'm able to travel. So as soon as the ban is lifted, I'm out of here. I'm going back to Nigeria. I'm flying out as soon as possible. So let's set it up with my husband and we will do a live with you. All right. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you for coming on the show. It was a, it was a pleasure, Uvi. Thank you. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Great. We finally had um, Lisa, uh, baby girl Lisa. She came in. She was very intentional, very, very direct with questions. And we tried to set up that life between her and her husband. In another five minutes, we are going to be tuned into the industry conversation. The industry conversation is coming on next. So stay tuned. I'll be back. And we'll join, uh, we'll, we'll join uh, straight to the industry conversation. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. I really appreciate you guys. I uh, wish we had more time to pick a few of you to come and say something uh, about what, uh, add, um, add something to what she had said about her relationship with Usman. So 8 p.m., we'll be back. We'll be back with the industry conversation. Stay tuned. Bye.